Sumbong ko sa kong papa. And he laughed. <laughs> he laughed at niya siya nga. <laughs> nagsulti ka sa tinood. Yan yeah, siya, nagsulti ka sa tinood. Because ang law student kami ngun siya nga first day niya sa skulahan niya. May ngun siya nakasabot siya, hambugiro na. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you my conversation via Zoom to two of our newest lawyers in University of the Visayas, Guyas Law School, Attorney JP Umpad and Attorney Sheya Panilagaw. And they will share with me their experience in law school, their study habits, the reason why they entered in law school, and the best practices that they had when they were still students in the Guyas Law School. So here's my conversation with them. I hope you enjoy it. So good morning, Paniero JP and Paniera Shea. Thank you for joining me this morning. Hey, good morning, attorney. Thank you for having us here with attorney Shea. Thank you for this opportunity. How, how have you been since the role signing? So far, doing well. Um, uh, busy with the uh, work in the court and um, still doing our best to have uh, experience. Just a few months ago, man, na uh, nagroll signing, so we are still trying to explore where to, um, where to go. Currently, where are you connected now, Panyara? So currently, I am connected as a court decongestion officer at RTC Branch Five under Judge Makabaya. That's great. That's good news. How about you, Panyaro JP? How have you been since the role signing? Uh, since the role signing, it's it's a slow start, attorney. Since I'm a solo practitioner now, I am I I'm not connected with any law firm or office whatsoever. So since yes, yeah, it's a slow start, but I'm coping up. You are you are doing a solo practice. Uh, are you planning to join the government or the prosecution? Maybe. What are your plans, Panyero? Uh, yes, I'm planning to join the public attorney's office attorney or maybe the National Prosecution Service in the DOJ. I'm opting to apply for the position of associate prosecutor, which my father. Uh, suggested to me that I would apply since that position doesn't require any year of experience. I'm sure you will do well there. You know, the, the start of the practice of law really is the tough part, Bakay. You, you don't really know man, where to start. Yeah. You can consider, but once you take off, na ka, I'm sure you will be doing well in your practice and I'm unhappy hearing your plans and your current works now no panyero and panyera now let's yeah. let's talk about your your experience in law school is it okay if we talk about your experience in law school since you guys are uh, lawyers sure, now? of course no problem of course. Let's, let's have a a throwback or flashback of what have you throwback. been doing in law school <laughs> so let's start with this question what was your reason what was your motivation why you decided to enroll in law school let's start with panyero jp panyero i, I heard your actually, father is actually a lawyer right was it the reason yes, why yes, you attorney. pursued law school uh, actually attorney it was it was never my idea to enroll myself in law school it was actually my father's idea he suggested to me that he would pay for my books and my tuition fee so in return, I would plunge myself into the depths of the suffering in law school. So he said, he will always tell me that I have the potential to enroll myself in law school. So that, that, was, that statement persuaded me. So I enrolled myself in law school. Did you have a prior plan before pursuing law school? Uh, yes, attorney, because my undergraduate studies, I was a Bachelor of Science in Criminology. So I opt to apply in the service in the PNP. Were you able so to? Was, were you able to land a job in the PNP before you pursued law school, or never? Never, I never landed any job in the PNP. So, so you well, you proceeded with law school. Yes, after I passed the board exam in way back 2014. Thereafter, I enrolled in law school in 2015. That's great. Your father must be very persuasive because he was able <laughs> to persuade you to really enroll in law school. 
How about you, Panyera? What was your motivation? What was the reason why you decided to enroll in law school? Well, actually, for me, it's just like um, almost the same as JP. But um, since I come from a family with um, most of them, or I mean, all of them come from a medical field. Um, also, me, I am a nursing graduate and a, and a registered nurse. So um, I was inspired to uh, travel a different path. So I chose law school rather than pursuing medicine. And since no one in the family, actually immediate family is a lawyer, I'm actually the first one. So that mainly inspired me to pursue law school and also to pursue my father's dream. Is your father a lawyer? Um, my father is a graduate of law school, but he didn't take the bar exam. Oh. He's actually a retired policeman. Okay. Oh, just like JP's father. Yes, yes. Also <laughs> actually, retired. they know each other. Yes, they're friends. Nice, nice. What a small world. All the world. <laughs> <laughs> now, since I now know your motivation in enrolling in law school, when you entered law school, did you have any expectation? Did you prepare yourselves? Uh, expect and I have to do this and that. Did you have that kind of expectation? And did you have that kind of preparation? Panyara? Um, for me, actually, I already expected it to be a bumpy ride. I know it's going to be difficult, but I was just focused Now I will finish it and I will make it. And then I just uh, had the mindset that I will study hard, even if I know na it's really hard, it's really difficult. So, more na akong pink attorney. And prepare lang jud ka. Same ko Although I know na it's be it will be really hard, kay considering na I came from a medical field, so I I will be adjusting a lot. So. Ako na lang gibutang gyud na sa akong mindset na I think my efforts will be double gyud compared sa others na na anay background sa law. Did you have any friends na nag law school pod and you, did you talk to them on what it felt like to be in law school? Um my best friend also went to law school but he was a I she was a psychology graduate but and we didn't enroll in the same school. So um Siya ra akong close friend na ni enroll po sa law school, but we were um, we started at the same time, so I really didn't have a background kung on sa gitra if mag start na sa law school, so ni salud lang yet go, so wala lang. I'll just I was just um I was just uh nag mindset lang yet ko na maura gid ni ako ang repurso and more din ang mga challenges na possible na ko ma-encounter along the way. Okay. Pareho mo say mo friend you were groping in the dark. Mm. Uh, How about you? In law school attorney I expected it to be a nerve-wracking journey since it is a course with involves a higher learning studies and uh higher degree of analysis when you study law and I expected to raise my stress levels to the max and I was not disappointed at all because when I enrolled in uh, when I first uh, went to my class I have to read a lot of pages thick inches pages without even any drawings unlike any other courses that they have uh, like the <laughs> course of attorney yeah. Shea they have drawings in their <laughs> books in law school our books doesn't have any drawings at all and it is a boring sub it is a boring book you know and, and aside from that attorney aside from reading i have to digest many cases write many cases that's why my stress levels went up to its apex so i expected it that it will be a bumpy ride just like attorney shea said it's a nerve-wracking journey yeah indeed indeed but did, did you ask from your father any advice on how to manage your stress levels back then I just said that go with the flow. He just he has told me that go go just go with the flow. I know you have the potential to survive in law school. Yeah, yeah. I he met just, your father. No, I I 
find him to be a very cool cool dad. He's very chill. Murag ka yes, nang yes, yes. mo. Sige lang, chill lang. Kaya na ni mo. Murag anak siguro yung, <laughs> yes, yes, yung advice ni mo back then. Um, now, since since you already shared with us your expectation when you entered in law school, tell us, Kono, what was your first day in law school like? What was it like? Okay, ako, I remember when I was when I entered into law school the first day, I was really puzzled. My first professor then is Attorney Alo. I'm sure you know him, Attorney Silito Alo. Yes, yes. And I really did not expect anything. What you about? And then, more of feeling nako recitation miniya. He asked us our names, our background, and all. Pero kulba kaayo. Did you have the same experience as mine back then? What was your first day in law school like? Panyera. Mine was a turmoil, Attorney. I was like sitting in class. I was like sitting in a class na absorbed abs- well na I wasn't absorbing anything. Marang everything na the professor was saying I I really didn't understand. So I was like, what? <laughs> what what is what is he saying? <laughs> because the even a, a few words in law school, it means a different it has a different meaning in medical school or in nursing. So it was completely 360 degrees from my um from my uh, bachelor's degree so i was really empty minded when i when i was sitting in class so it was very difficult for me to absorb and it really took me a while before i was able to adjust with the way um everything was in law school so it wasn't easy but i think it i i went through it and it's it's doable. How long did you? How long did it take for you to adjust, Paniera? Um, I think uh, I still had a hard time during my first year. I mean, reading books it, it took me more it an hour. I I think ang um, ten pages daghana na if I if, ang one hour for ten pages daghana na siya because I need to uh to consult a dictionary every time I read a specific uh, provision or even the annotations of the book, I need to review, I need to double check the meaning if it has the same meaning in law, in law and it's, it has a different meaning in my college year. So I think it, I think during the second year, pako na naka adjust, but I was re- actually adjusting and it was easier for me when I, only when I reached third year attorney na. <laughs> Um, easier na magread og provisions, easier na magread ang sa mga annotations. But during my first and second year, what it was really a uh, a tough time for me. I really um double time to read and understand each provision. <laughs> Dugay ka na anad. <laughs> yes, Dugay jud attorney. Yeah, yeah, that's that's perfectly understandable. But I took my time. But mustadi lang yun ko. I I read. I read in advance. That's what I do. Para if nana ko sa sa classroom, dili na ko ma ngangha sa mga gisulti sa mga professors. So at least na they will they will inform us man what provisions we will be covering the following meeting. So you can read in advance. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important thing. Kay kung when you enter into a class without reading in advance. Samut good nga, good ka makasabot yes. yun sa istorya sa professor. Yes. How about you, Panyero? Oh, my first what day in law school attorney was really horrible. You know horrible? why? Horrible? Little, horrible? Yes, yes, it was really horrible why, why? because little do you know, attorney, I was a late enroll in law school. I was three weeks late in class because it was never really my choice to enroll myself in law school. So when okay. I went went up to class, I saw my classmates. They were really close with with each other. They were talking and making fun with themselves. I was feeling aloof, so I placed myself in the backmost portion of the chair. The chairs in the back side, and when the professor stepped up, I remember who's the professor is. It is you, Attorney Wagas. <laughs> <laughs> I was under you. I was under you in legal writing. That subject was legal okay. writing. You called the attention of the class and you said that, a hey, class, a eh, submit na ang inyong case digest. I said, what? What's, what's case digest? And there is a writing on the board that I think it was an eight cases digest. So 
I after class I approach you and ask you if attorney can I submit my assignment for the next week because I am a late enrollee of fortunately you you accepted my plea. <laughs> Oh, abi na kong ngayon ko dili na ko ide. Nagani ni sugot ko. Just the same. A very considerate man, professor. <laughs> yes, yes. Just the same predicament as attorney Shea when she was in first year. I did not understand a, uh, a word or a thought when attorney Wagas was discussing in class. I don't know what what what. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, I was already late three weeks. So I don't yeah, three weeks I need to catch up. Yes, I need to catch up with things. I need to catch up with this subject, with this another subject, and I don't know what, I don't know what, what to understand. I do not understand Paniero, everything. No? In fairness, Paniero, if I could remember, you were actually one of my top students back then. So, bisan glit ka, it was never an excuse for you to really excel in class. You really That's stepped very up. Very flattering, Atur. Yeah. So after that attorney, I will just share that. After that first day, I went home with a heavy heart. Same, yes. same here. Yeah, with a heavy heart. I went to my girlfriend and I re- literally cried. I told her that. I don't... Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I don't understand law school. She would comfort me. Just during the first yes, day? Yes, that's the first day because I think your subject was... Being partnered with a heavy subject like a major subject, because you were the second subject when on that day. So my girlfriend told me that no, kaya na nani mo, you can do it. So I went home. I told ni sumbong ko sa kung papa, and he laughed. <laughs> he laughed at me. Ano siya nga? So nagsulti ka sa tinood. Yeah, ano siya nagsulti ka sa tinood because ang law student kami ngon siya nga first day niya sa school kan yung mga siya nakasabot siya hambugiro. I told to myself yes. I, It is normal for me not to understand things in law school on my first day. Yeah. So that experience was really horrible. Yes, yes, that's correct. That's correct. Ako, it took me after prelims before I cried. Kay, kani bitong sa undergrad, di ba na anad tano nga magcraming ra? I mean, last minute ra nga magtuon, and then um, paggawa sa results sa prelims makikita ka imong grado kay na sa 60 50 ra imong points over 100 maka maka goal jud ka ayo nga feeling ni mo bright man kay ko sa na no man diri sa law school mo rog ayo ko so i really cried and i thought i could not finish law school but nay na ko mommy sus oy kuan pa mana prelim pa mana ang importante ra kay makapasar lang gyud ka mo ra jud na iyang motivation importante makapasar lang ka ayo lang jud give up and just study so i think it's really normal no kung bago pa gyud sa usa ka endeavor maglisu jud ta we will really grow jud but naa gyud sa ato ang kung maningkamot ta unya gusto gyud natong makabot ato ang pangandoy it's it's really good to hear stories matainom dum sa ta sa ako ah <laughs> Now speaking of your first day in law school, were there any things that you you wished you know before entering in law school, Kapaniero? I I wish I knew how to make a case digest properly, attorney. <laughs> because in because I because as far as I remember, when we were first year, we were bombarded with many cases. Yes, and our professor would say that you must make it properly because I will check those case digest if will pass my standards because in, in case they just will get the issue, uh, the facts, the issues and the decisions of the Supreme Court. Way back in first year, I do not know how to do it because the cases, especially the full text, it is a lengthy text and I don't know what words would I write. As for me, I can... I think... No, no, no. Sorry, Panyero. Panyero, speaking of... Um, you wishing that you knew how to properly digest a case. Karon, nakabaw na baka what was, or back then, did you know kung unsay objective, what was the purpose, why you guys were asked to really digest a lot of cases? Yes, yes, attorney, because in practice now, my I would say that case digest was very helpful because our clients tend to say many things and we as lawyers, we must have the skill to dissect things. We must dissect, uh, this, disregard these facts because it is not an issue regarding this case. 
So I think that's the rationally why law school uh, make tell us to make case digest. Yes, this is to prepare you in your practice. But how about back then, Paniero, when, when you were a student, na, did you find any benefit if there is any in digesting a case? Yes, attorney. Uh, it will, it, case digest does increase my reading time, my retention, especially in the making my handwriting legible because way back in first year, I have a very terrible handwriting. <laughs> yes, so as time passed by in second year and third year I managed to improve? make my yes it improved in case they just help a lot it also helps you how to spot an issue no yes. when you digest a case it's really really important how about you Panyera were there any things that you wish you knew before entering in law school did you say ah sus ko nakabaw lang ko ane dili unta ko maglisod Maglisod o paminaw or pagsabot sa akong professor. Did you have that kind of feeling back then? Um, since JP already mentioned about the case digest, um, I think um, one thing I wish I knew before I entered law school was um, how how to answer the um, particular exams in law school. It's really um, different. It's essay type, right? So yeah. in in my bachelor's degree, our exams are multiple choice. So I didn't have any idea how you should answer a question in law school, although I know it's essay, but I didn't know that there's a particular format for it. I mean, you need to to answer the question and then cite the law application. I didn't know anything about it. So it was really hard. Um, I remembered my first exam in family, um, persons and family relations. It was with Attorney Jake Simafranca. My booklet was so horrible. I mean, one paragraph for gidang akong answer. It was I I didn't know that there's a specific presentation of your answer for it to be more um clean and para na I um na agani flow ang imong way of answering. I didn't know na you have to cite the law first. Ako I was application ako dito and I answered my exam and when I looked at my classmates notebook I was like huh is that how you is that the way we're supposed <laughs> to answer the exam I didn't yeah. know there was no margin in my booklet <laughs> but I akong booklet so I learned from it and at least the following exams I was able to do the proper format since I think I was I wasn't present when the when the way of answering was discussed by attorney Jake um, I I think he gave us a guideline, but I think I was in Manila when when that part was discussed in class. <laughs> Can you share with us this format, Paniela? Um, yeah, so manage. this was also the format I used when I took the bar exam. So first is you answer directly the question asked in the in the that specific question, and then the second paragraph should be the the law that is applicable um, on that question. And then the next should be the application of the law and then your conclusion. Did you also use the same format, Paniero? Uh, yes, attorney. I have the same format with attorney Shea. However, I, when I took the bar, I made it in only in one paragraph format. So make it concise. Concise. Because but, others but will still say that, with the same the same yes. component. Yes, yeah. yes, with the same component. Yeah, 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 and it's shorter, no? When you when you do it in in one paragraph form, that's that's good. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. I'm sure our students will really learn from this one. Now, can you share with us if um, what kind of students were you when you were in law school? Ikaw panyera, naning ka or chilchilang or are you the kind of student na I was the type na I, I can't say na I was really that um studious dude, but I really study. Um before the class I make sure na I read. Uh and then if there is an exam, I make sure na I was I'm able to cover everything sa na na as a coverage. If wala gani 
mapanik na gid ko ana i don't feel like taking the exam if na ako na i times na dili ko maka-cover og specific na mga mga topics since it's really broad man good labi na if mga midterms and prelims and final exams um you only um there are times na you just focus on the um kanang bina common na mga questions or common topics uh, but as a student i really make sure na i am prepared and i am able to study before entering the class although i was working year and second year i make sure na inigsulod na at least na adre koy nahibaw-an sa class so i also have fun with my friends but usually that's after exams na um uh, but if uh, after exams na mao na ang time na mag eat out me together na ay gamay na mga chill chill and ana but um before exams good i always study since i only have uh, after work man good ko maka study so i always take the time na to study ahead of ahead before i i, I go to class so you were you were working when you were in law school yes, yeah i was working when i was in first year second year and half of third year but um attorney piramide encouraged me to um be a full time student so when i reached third year i resigned and focused on studying yeah when you were in third year i think you were under me in yes, attorney. succession and succession. You always you always um placed first in my exams so wow. nakaingon ko ah this 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 girl will really become a lawyer kay very diligent in her studies thank no? you attorney so flattering how, yeah how about you panyero what 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 kind of student were you when you were in law school? I think I am of the mixed type attorney because no, I ako alam ting ipang ako ni ipang una panyero ha si panyero JP is like um having a second home in the library in the library. Ko ako na sa yup eh ang balay na na during the day ang library na rajuna siya sa library would always study so so attorney I correct if i say nga you are a nanning student you were a nanning student panyero <laughs> I think i would beg to disagree with that uh, statement attorney why because i am of a mixed breed because breed. even though i am a Yes, I am a mixed breed because even though I am studious in class, I also do clowning in class. We as far uh, yeah. because as you remember, you, our batch was mga por, full of jokers in the class. Yeah. Now. We were serious yeah. now and later we would do laugh laughing. We were like bipolar beings. <laughs> no, you know you were very you were very fun persons. Good, kano kato yung batch. Diko kalimot. You were my first students when I taught in law school. First taught in law school. Kamo my first na kong students. And na test yun ako ng patience sa inyo mga batch. Yes, yes, yes. Nito ko na kaingon. I really have to adjust kay lahat na nisa ng ako an group of people. So, so continue, please. What's funny? What's funny with that? With our batch attorney Shaya because when one is called in recitation and got a perfect answer. Everybody will clap their hands and <laughs> yeah. will be puzzled. No? What's what what happened? <laughs> just every time, every subject. That's, yeah. So I would say that we were a mixed breed. We are studious and we will do this crowning thing in class. Yeah, yeah. In short, I think you just had a lot of fun when you were in law school. You yes. did not let the pressure get into you, and you just had yes. fun. Murag, murag. Bala na basta akong pagtuon dire nalingaw ko di ba mura ginana yes, just go with the flow just go with the flow because some students would get too much serious in law school and end up being quitting in law school because they can handle the pressure yes yes it's really difficult if wala kay balance no in in law yes. school sobra ano sad ka seryoso ang ending ma depressed ka kay kung di ka ka answer sa recitation mao na ka and all that di ba no absolutely no, di na kamus ko na recitation exit ang mga ihi dayo ni nana mo na mga excuse ang mga ihi sa para di matawag sir di sa kantin na teres kantin mga piyati ra na klase niya nag kape kape kas kantin so di nana na tong mga mga styles na yeah now um 
Did you have any reading schedule? They say, Mangud na, when you are in law school daw, kailangan, mubasa ka, mga eight hours a day. Is they, would you subscribe to this kind of um, perception or concept? Or is this a myth? Or motoo ba ka na kailangan eight hours yun kang mubasa before ka musul o klase? Ikaw, uh, ikaw panyara siya, yeah, since you're a working student. Did you have a reading schedule? No. Um, after class, I always do it na magbasa ko. But um, since my work that time entails so much traveling, since uh, field work man ko, so sometimes if kapoy nagyud ko, I I end up uh, resting mo na resting after class. So but um, morid gud ko sa mga topics during the day. But if na I I still remember na sa first year na ko since niingon ko ganina na naglisod gud ko and then my professor was attorney piramide ah uh, after na ko sa klase mo adto ko og working cafe to keep me awake so I I read uh I read my books and then after that makauli na ko ana sa balay mga 3 a.m para magbasa lang yun ko sa uh, current na topic so I think it's um I think the reading schedule is you need to choose the best time for you na makaabsorb ka mo gid na siya ang uh, ako ang masuggest for students and then it is sakto gid na na ajud kay uh, time to read not necessarily na eight hours yun because It will come a time. There will. It will really come a time. Na ma exhausted yud ka. You also need time to rest in between. So, ah, I think more na siya ang ako ang reading schedule when I was still in law school, especially sa first two years na ako. Usually six a.m. na ganiko makauli sa balay and then I sleep for a few hours and then work na pod para lang ko makabasa and then ko an if na ako free time I try my best na Marid ko. Since working and being in law school is really not easy. Yes, yes. Grabe no. Gabi i ka magbasa and then mabuntagan. I can't do that. <laughs> Kuan man ko, morning person. I, I read during the day. Ragyo, di ka gabi i. Hagok na yung kuana. Mga nine, hagok na yung kuana. But sakto, panyera, kailangan yun kaum sa imong ang kuun sa ka-comfortable na good siya nga schedule, no? And it doesn't have to be a day. It doesn't have to be night. Depende ni mo kung sa good. Yes. But di said siya important, di said siya kinahanglan na eight hours. Basta makabasa lang good ka. Or it could be beyond eight hours or more than eight hours. Diba, Panyero? How about you, Panyero? Basta kaya pa mo ang Oh, yes, yes. Basta ma- makaya pa. Kay useless mo nang taas kay imong time magbasa niya. Wa kay nasabtan. <laughs> Ano lang pagbasa, pag Facebook na lang. Anyway. <laughs> Panyero, how about you, Panyero? Did you have a reading schedule? Ah, pareha ka ni Panyera na gabi e or adlaw ba ka or na kay specific time? Kano sa ka magbasa? I think we have I think we have a different schedule with Attorney Shea since in law school, I was a full-time student so I have the luxury of time to read. So after yeah, full time class, man, I would take a rest. Yes, 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 Tony. After class, I would take a short rest and read for at least three hours in the evening after class for the first subject for tomorrow. Sub for tomorrow, and in the morning, I would continue the readings for that subject. And after that, I would read the assign reading assignments for the second subject. If I have spare time after like mga two p.m. and two to five p.m., I would polish my readings in both subjects. So, because my father always told me that going in class is like going in court. You have to read your case, you have to read your books, so when the judge or the professor will ask you, you can answer those questions. Yeah, that, that's, that's, really, that's really great. That's a good, very good practice. So, w- when you were studying, ang imong schedule, Panyero, is ang imong tunan for that day, is the subject for that day. Yes. Yeah, na. Mm. For the tomorrow subject, you- attorney. And for the tomorrow subject, how about you, Panyera? Did you also um, have the same the same reading style? 
Or, or did you did you allocate like karong adlaw kay mo nga subject or kaning adlaw mo nga subject or do you have the same schedule as panyero JP na kung unsa subject na ko today and tomorrow that will be the one that I will be focusing on uh, on my part attorney F uh, I have time in the afternoon before the class starts I read the uh, the topics assigned on that day but if uh, after class uh, I read the the topics or the subjects for the following day. So, um, para before ko musulod sa school, na nako kabalo na ko unsa ang i-discuss sa anak na na class and na nako yung idea. So, pero na times na you can't stick with your schedule ba? So, sa in anak na times I I just uh na times na after sa class, ako i-read balik ang gi-discuss sa professor for me to further understand yun sa discussion. And then, if I have spare time, I will read for the following day na subject. That's what I do. So, mubawi lang yun, no? Kung, kung di ni mo ma-achieve mo ang goal for that particular yes. day, bawi on lang yun. Hindi lang sa yun, pasagda na lang, kalimta na. Okay, yes, na um, class naman to. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's good practice. Now, um, let's talk about your embarrassing moments or did you have an embarrassing experience when you were in law school? Or can you remember any embarrassing moment? Sa kaha, kung naaman, panyera, ikaw panyera. I think in general, no, the embarrassing yun kayo for all law students na dili yun ka makatubag sa recitation, but <laughs> which, is, which is very normal. Uh, there was a time in our class na Naka, nagbarog na ming tanan kay wala din ako wala jud i think kanang criminal law subject to na mo na since absorbing pa ka sa mga new principles new concepts and then it's really not that easy to understand criminal law for me ha but um nay daghan principles daghan sa so book 1 pa lang daghan na kaayo kag kinahanglan i i absorb na mga principles so one reading is not enough good for it for you to absorb everything so siguro embarrassing good ka ayo na kanang magbarog na lang good ka sa whole subject just because <laughs> kamo gitanan just because dili ka makatubag sa recitation i think mo gyud ay pinaka list ug pinaka wow sa law school which is very normal oh alegre lang siya kay daghan ka ayo mo lili kay ikaw ra no oh at least kami tanan na barog na di kayo wow how about you, Paniero? Yes, my most embarrassing moment when I was in law school attorney was way back when I was in first year. Uh, I think it was a week after I enrolled because when the professor asked me to recite the subject and I stand, I stood up and hold this book like this, he told me, Mr. Umpad, what edition are you uh, buying? Uh, to, uh, attorney, this is a 1989 edition of the book. It was criminal law subject. <laughs> oh, and yes, and uh, and the whole class laughed at me. They they mock me. Oh, karaan na kena mas karan pa na sa konstitusyon ni mong libro. Oh, uh, and I told them. That, and then you felt embarrassed. Uh, yes, I I was embarrassed because uh, wala pa mo kaya palit good. Maybe next week I will buy a new book, new edition for this book. So despite. Despite those those embarrassing moments, I was able to answer the recitation of my professor just to rub it in. Yeah, yeah. Nabawi ra. <laughs> Nabawi ra. <laughs> Nabawi ra. Yeah, I think it won't matter, man, if kung sa edition sa imuhang book, siguro, as long as nakasabot lang sad ka and you're updated with the, with the current <laughs> updates lang. Usually, ang updates, ana, ang mga decisions naman sa Supreme Courts, which your yes. professors can ably really um, inform you nga kaniha yes, na kung yes. ano ni siya na overturns or kani siya mauna ni principal in this case. So, I, I think it doesn't really matter kung imong libro kay ancient artifact na. I also, I also yes. remember ako ang libro in succession kay kung ano sa ipaklik ni mo, murag mahadlok ka nga mabali mm. na kakuan mo ng libro. Kaya, ancient, na, na, ancient document. Karaan na. Ancient document. Ancient document. But yeah, anyway, th those are our experiences in law school and na nahun man sa dato ang pagkatao ato tungod atong mga experiences, no? And 
siguro mabalik to we wouldn't change a thing except the fact nga mas prepared na siguro ta yes, this yes. time kikibaw na ta kung kasi atong expect in law school now i'd like to ask i'm just curious ba of all the law schools in cebu kau panyero jp you're a full time student and you also panyera sharia i'm sure you're not also a graduate of uv you're from other school right why why did you decide to enroll in gulias law school um ikaw panyero yeah. Oh yeah, Panyera. Sorry, sorry. Um, for me, um, I enrolled in Gulias Law School mainly because I was a working student back then when I started, and I've heard that they um the school is really um working student friendly. So um, without compromising ha, the education na imuhang makuha. Um, also I believe na. Um, dako gidog factor ang student also it, regardless of asa ka na school mo enroll for as long as the student is really motivated and for as long as the student is dedicated na mo study and focus you will still achieve your goal most na ang giingon sa akong mommy nako and my dad since um i was really hesitant in enrolling since i really wanted to be a full time student but Sayang man daw ang panahon. I'm not getting any younger, so I might as well um, make use of the time. So I chose Gulias Law School since it is student friendly. Um, they uh, it's not na dili na kamutuon ha. Just because working student ka, you need to do your part in studying. Also, you need to double time. Um, without disregarding your um, readings, so. Happy ko with Gulias Law School since friendly pud ang mga imong mga kauban na mga students and professors they are very considerate considerate gyud sa mga working students for as long as you are able to comply with um, all the requirements so mo na siya mainly ang reason why I enrolled in law school sa Gulias yeah, but but bisan og friendly ang Gulias Law School to its students it Does it mean na uh, automatic pasar na ang student? I think dili man no. You really no, have to work hard. You also hard need to skill. do your part. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Kay ako, even if I knew about it na ah okay ang UV kay bisang working ka ana ana. You need to um think think of the future ba. Since even if okay for working students, it doesn't mean na it's okay not to study because the main goal is taking the bar exam so when it when the the time comes na you will be taking the bar exam it's totally different good everything that you have read so first year and second year that's your foundation and then if wala gid kay in ana kanindot na foundation it will really be hard for you to to make it so even if working student friendly do your part in studying also yes I think ako lang i-add na, na na student friendly siya because of the fact maybe that our professors are very um understandable yes, understanding yes, right. sa situation sa student to the effect nga kung malit siya or maka-absent siya because of work he okay ragi understand yes, yes. siya but atong professors would always say and despite the fact that you are working students kaya to as some professors in the past working man po mm-hmm. You have to really do your part, like what you said earlier, Panyera. Nga, ikaw bisan pagworking ka, nagbasa gud ka kay ni mo hagyung ginahona is not just today, di lang ang imong law school journey, but also your preparation when you take the bar. That, that's yes. that's very that's very good, Panyera. How about you, Panyero? Why did you choose Bullias Law School when you were a full-time student, man? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh... I said a while ago that it was it was not my decision to enroll in law school, so it was my father's decision. I think my father chose Gulias Law School because he was an alumnus there, class 1994. Yes. Same and here. <laughs> your dad is also an <laughs> alumnus. Yes, 1992. Oh, okay. So not lang sila ni fiscal panyaro. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, so you. You enrolled in law school because of your dad. Yes, Panyero. I think he chose this school because he was an alumnus and he knows the professor well because he was he was an alumnus there. But despite that fact, maybe if I was given the chance to choose what school should I enroll, 
I would still choose Gulias Law School because I feel like home. It feels like home there. The people are very friendly, the staff, the facilities are very good, the professors are very compassionate, but it does not uh, sum up to the saying that we will not study anymore because our professors are compassionate with us since most of our classmates are working students like attorney Shea back in the day. We will still have to do our part because kung sa er nato ng story ato rang hiila na tong kaguling kung dili ta magtarog swila sa law school. That's correct. That's correct. Kaya uban man good morag chill na lang sila kay out. Okay ra right? consider a bit out ta you know we're working students and all but they did not realize nga the the ang ilang gipreparahan really is not just ang imong law school but also the the bar exams and diha na nimo realize later when you take your review the ba mana yeah, naman ang ubang estudyante so nagtinarong pa lang ko sa una sa law school dili unta ko for you review gid unta and the all that what so ifs Oh, the kind of you got it. So, and we we want to avoid that. Mo nang kailangan ikaw. That's also the reason why we're doing this, so that ato ang estudiante makabaw sa mga grabe of preparation when you're in law school. Bili lang yun kasabar or sa review magprepare. But ang imo yung preparation, ang groundwork is really in the law school. Mo na siya. And say, having said that, can you give us or can you give our students any tip or? study methods on how to survive and succeed in law school. You guys were very successful in law school. I remember kamong duha gyud mga top students man gyud mo nako not just me but I'm sure in in other professors kay during faculty meetings we would really discuss man okay say mo top, okay say mo top. And your names would really surface on the list. So can you give our students tips or study methods on how to survive and succeed in law school? Panyera um, for me, um, tips to survive is first is time management good. Um, there is time for party, time for uh, na mga SOs na to sa tung relationships, but always find time to study. Um, also, uh, very important is to know your learning style kung unsa ka best makasabot o makaabsorb sa mga topics in law school. If reading is reading works for you and also if mo mas mo work ni mo na magsulat ka sa imong mga gipangbasa, do it ayaw pag adjust based on other people's learning style. You must know, know yourself kung unsa gyud best works for you. Um, also have a really good support system, your family, your friends, and then, if na kay boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't think na love and law kay dili gid mo go, go together. If your significant other is really very supportive with law school, then I think you will surpass law school good and you will make it for as long as supportive good siya. He, will, uh, he or she will not demand too much of your time. If kay bao siya na, you need a lot of readings to do. And then also, Find time to relax because if wala kay time to relax, you will get exhausted and I don't think maka absorb baka better sa imong readings. Wala na siya gamit na magsigi kagbasa bisang gikapu inaka. Always find time to relax. But dili relax always ha. Just <laughs> na lang yung time for relaxation. It's also essential. Um, well, I think it all boils down to time management and Stay motivated, focus on your goal, good, which is becoming a lawyer. Because law school is really not um, is not easy. It ha um, it has a lot of challenges. Uh, but if you are focused, now ganahajud ka maabugado, you will reach it, good. You will achieve it no matter how difficult it is. Thank you, Panyara Shea. How about you, Panyara? <laughs> Uh, yes, as for me, attorney, since I am a full-time student way back then, so I will give the perspective of a full-time student. So, for full-time student, you must do your reading religiously since you have the luxury of time to do, do your readings. And you must keep the fire burning, the burning passion to become a lawyer, the, hung, the hunger for knowledge. 
to learn new things in law school because that will that will help you survive in law school throughout the years the burning passion to become a lawyer and when you go to class you must pay attention to your professors not just talk with your seatmates or friends you must take notes because when i enrolled in my review subject in another school for the preparation for the bar the professor told us that writing things and taking notes is very important because of the vast vast information that you will be absorbing throughout the years in law school it is very hard for you to remember every detail of it through time and i have my study technique was this I mean, i will read a book i will just first read the table of contents for a few minutes because the table of contents serves as a good outline of the topics and discussions and it will help you create a good mental draft like example in property you will know what is the prop what's property what is easement possession use of prop and you can compartmentalize things in the table of contents not just when you read a book you will just dive into the pages no you must go into the table of contents uh, that is the advice i can give to our law students there i wish i really wish i knew this no before i entered in the law school kabaon ta taani but yeah i would agree nga anin the jud na mag jot down of notes when i was in law school O si kayo ko kanang akong kodal gani kay daghan kay na siya mga notes notes unya akong libro sa daghan sa mga suot-suot unya nasa mo mga highlighter when you were in your law all studies. colors all colors <laughs> na ay mga na ay mga so na designated nga subject ang color designated okay. yes and for me yes, kay yes akong highlighters that really helped me um it will help you retain mangod the provisions and the annotations ba yeah, so if yeah. magbasa ka balik kay balo ko na ato diri ako gitong na highlightan mo recall mangod nimo ako gitong gisuwat sa kilid ang giingon ni sir like so attorney wagas if she discusses she highlight you the very important provision so ako i put a star or kani ka i need to focus on this provision so maka makahinumtom gyud ka dayon sa imong hangi study mo na nindot sad kay na daghan kag highlighters since As what JP mentioned a while ago, na walay drawing, you just make your book colorful. <laughs> colorful, <laughs> yes. Nika na lang mumuhit, mumuhat ato colorful. Yeah, did did you also do that, Paniero? You you also had lots of highlighters. I think I have only two, attorney, the yellow one and the green one. And I would advise the those those students out there that when you read a book, don't highlight all those texts because. What will happen is <laughs> yes, yes, because there are some students like that. Because attorney, uh, when they highlight those pages, it will serve as their assurance that they have read those pages. Yeah, it will have a psychological. Yes, mm. it will have a psychological effect on their part. That I, man, nabita ko basa na highlight na nako okay na ko na. It does not work like that. You must highlight those only those important parts of the book. Yes. Uh, are there other things that you'd like to add kanang inyong mga best practices when you were in law school in your hang jot down mug notes highlights and all that did you memorize did you also do memorization lots of yes. memorization in law school ikaw jp yeah. do you memorize uh, yes yes of course i do memorize because as far as i remember when i when we were in first year one professor would require us to memorize all the <laughs> articles in political law i think for and, me there are just specific provisions no specific very very important provisions that you need to memorize and to wholeheartedly good remember but it's not really full memorization good na alay parts na you need to really memorize i don't think if mag memorize ka you are able to absorb it It is I better that you are able to understand and absorb what you are reading rather than just memorizing it. And then if when the time comes that you need to apply it, you can no longer do it. Can memorize raman ka? So hmm. there ta- there are some that you need to memorize and understand. Understanding the provision is very important. Good. Important to good ang um, comprehension. Comprehension. Yeah. We agree. We agree. Uh, Do you have anything to add pa or 
Yes, when back in the day in law school, I happened to become a social person. I like to study in groups. Okay. Uh, Mas I ganahan like ka na eh, kaoban. Yes, because because attorney, when we study in groups, when one feels sleepy, one he feels guilty na natu natmatog ko niya kung mga kaoban nagbasa di ko matog. Uh, ang worst so that, lang ana, ang worst lang ana kung natog siya niya ganahan sa mo matog. <laughs> Mga tog na lang mo. Kaya kan eh, I am curious. Did you also what have is... openings? Kanang, kanang when you when you answer ba a question, kanang uh, a bar exam question or a question in law school, na may mga mga lamik ng mga linya nga gipang memorize or giprepare daan nga no less than the Supreme Court, so and so. Did you have that when you answered your your questions back in law school? Or are you guys the type of students nga moingo lang diretso? Yes or no? The law says and all that. Sa imong style panyero. That my style was in when I was in first year and second year was just was like that attorney ba like I will quote a beautiful pronouncement of the Supreme Court and incorporate it in my answer. But when I step up in the higher years like third year and fourth year. My answers were boring because answer directly to the point, cite the law, find the application of the law, and conclusion. And that was the style when I that that was the style I adapt when I took the bar exam. Well, why did you Why did you decide to change your style in answering? <laughs> because attorney, uh, it uh, we were very confused because when we were first year, our our professors would tell that this is the style. Uh, this is the technique. How to answer those bar questions, and and other professors would also tell us in higher years that no, this is the proper way because it is short, it is concise. Because the bar examiners are old, they would they cannot uh, they would not read lengthy answers anymore. They would just like uh, find the phrase or the keyword just like that. So yeah. we were confused. So I adapted the shorter method of answering. Yes, yes, and I think. No, um, my my style back then is para lang sa ako when I was in law school. You you just have to figure kung unsa style sa mga professor unsa yung ganahan ng presentation sa mga answer because not all professors would prefer the katong Iraq. Yes, yes. Not all professors would would prefer the yes direct so and then the answer. Some professors would require you to really follow the Iraq. Some professors would say o kanera direct so. And then some professors would subscribe to the suggestion of I remember Dean Riano, ingon siya, just spot the issue, just cite directly the law, and then you incorporate it in your reasoning. Ingan ba? So I think when I was in law school, ang ako lang na realize is kung ani si attorney A, mo ni yung ganahan, ang ani lang sa ako ng the way ko mo answer. Mura flexible lang ko ba in answering? How about you, Panyera? Did you also do that, or did you have just one style when you answer your your questions during exams in law school? So when I was in Siguro in first year to fourth year, first few months of fourth year, I always answer sa four paragraph method. That's the the way I answer my uh the exams. But when I started reviewing for the bar exam, and the last bar exam, I answered in a concise manner. Um, I just answer if yes and according to the doctrine or according to the law. Since I think it's because the first year and second year the uh, examinations are shorter, gamay ra ang questions, so you have the luxury of time in answering in a four-paragraph method. But when it comes to the bar exam, the questions like mga forty kabuk and you need to answer it in essay type questions. So you need to choose which questions you will answer in a track method or in a bullet bullet type answer. So I think analyzing the question is also very important. If kanina question mo demand o taas na points then I think it is better to explain it more rather than mubura kayo yung mga answer so if naapoy mga sub questions that's the time na you just answer it immediately kung what is asked and what is the doctrine that is being and that the examiner wants you to discuss so it's important sa first few years of law school na makabaw ka mo answer in a kanang track method kay I think Ma, mas makalearn ka of application and way of answering it if na ato ang four paragraph method since easy man na mo shift into answering it na shorter lang gani so 
in the long run, nag-practice siya sa gihapon ko on saon pag-answer o bar questions na mubo ang answer since uh, naanad man ko na four paragraph yun ang ako ang answers. Yes, kay in the bar, it's also a different arena there. Dili po yeah. pwede yun nga pag-ask kaayo yung muhang answers because ang examiner would correct or check plenty of notebooks, I mean thousands of notebooks and if you answer to ask kayo and you'd not kanang hit the point o ako ni go directly to, sa point, huwag yun kay score po and that's that's also one thing ang kalangan i-learn sa ito ang students, yeah. especially in taking Keywords that are in is very important. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Keywords. Do you have anything pa to add? I think, ma'am. Uh, no students, uh, I encourage you to no, avoid, avoid procrastination. Yung mamaya na habit <laughs> like uh, unya na lang ko magtuon okay pa bitaw okay full time ito ko makoy time magbasa pa ug ma, no just avoid that habit because in the time nga mo take mo bar ma-adapt man nimo nga batasan it will lead to your downfall yes, yes. that's a, that's a very good advice thank you panyero how about you panyera do you have uh, an advice or any advice to our students and also mga bar candidates in the 2021 exam. Oh, the so for exams. the bar candidates na lang. So for the bar candidates, uh, uh, study hard, of course. <laughs> and then, uh, stay focused lang yun sa imuhang goals. Uh, and then, time management is very important, as always. Then, uh, know what suits you best. Kung unsa gyud na book, bisan ang book is very important. Not dili because ang imumiga kay kani ang gibasa ni libro, kani sa dili imong basa ko na libro. Know what works for you gyud. Kung unsa ka na, kung asa ka na libro mas makaabsorb, mas makasabot, kana ang pili ah, rather than just following kung unsa ang gibuhat sa uban. And then if writing works for you, kung magbasa ka o niya, mas easier for you to absorb na magsuwat ka while reading do it even if it will take so much of your time basa and suwat yun kay mauman sa di mo hang naandan do it and then since I will assure you na mausag yun ang mas makaabsorb ka if maug yun ang imuhang learning style also if kung unsa ka na person like attorney wagas morning person siya, if mas maka-absorb ka in the morning, study in the morning, or if maka-absorb ka at night, mas easier for you to study, follow that routine. Do not just disrupt it just because your friends are doing this or just because na I've heard the testimonial of this bar pastor na mauni iyang gibuhat because there is really a tendency na mauna tong buhaton. And then also, do not hoard notes. Focus on your notes. Ayaw pa distract sa other na mga notes. Focus on your books. Kung unsa na books ay mong naandan. Sa fourth year na ay mong gibasa. Read it again during the bar review. And then read your notes. Ayaw pagkabombarded sa mga daghan kayo na mga notes na maabot ni mo during your review. Because you will just um, mas stress lang ka. As in ma, mas mawala yung self-confidence just because wala ka kabasa ani and then sila nakabasa. Um be confident sa imuhang gibuhat because it will really show the time comes na mo answer na ka makitaan gyud na mahibaw-an gyud na siguro if dili ka confident sa imong way of answering so i think more siya ang pinaka important for me na ma remember gyud sa mga bar takers thank you panya so pray pray yes pinaka gyud yeah. na ang prayer always ask guidance Ang ginoo jud ang mugiya na to for me. How about you, Panyero? Do you have any parting words or any advice aside from what you said earlier? You also have lots of friends who will okay. be taking the bar this 2021. Yes, you also yes, have okay. friends in law school. Do you have any advice, Panyero? I will just share this to them, attorney, those bar candidates for the upcoming bar 2021. Remember these four L's. Law, you must have a good grasp of the law. Language, you must have a good command of the English language because uh, wrong grammar does injure your answers in the bar exam. Logic, your answers must be in logical form and not in any scrambled form. And last is legibility. Your penmanship must be at least legible for the examiner to understand what your answers are. And 
that pray to God always. Ay, kalimang nga L, the Lord. Lord <laughs> yes. yes. So, thank you very much. This has been a fun chat and conversation with you. Nalingaw, Jude, ko nalingaw mo. It's really yes, fun. Yes. <laughs> Back the thank time, you so no? much for the opportunity. Na artista si JP. <laughs> <laughs> thank, <laughs> you, thank you, Thank you, thank you, Thank you, Kayo, for, for this. Thank, thank you, you for joining, for joining me. Thank you, Jude. Glad to help. So that's Attorney Shea and Attorney JP. I'd like to say thank you to both of my Panyero and Panyera for taking the time to share with me and share with us their experience in law school and their preparation when they took the bar examinations. I hope you guys learned something from it. And if you have questions, comments, or recommendations, you may send me a private message at Darning Chermith Wagas or you may drop it in the comment section. If you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, Darchi Wagas and hit that notification button so that you will be notified of my future videos. Thank you very much. I'm Ping.